Welcome to At the Public Library for March 1994. At the Public Library features news and special reports about the San Francisco Public Library system and listings of upcoming library programs for children, teens, and adults. The West Portal Branch Library, located at 190 Lenox Way, is open on Tuesdays and Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., with evening hours on Wednesdays from 1 to 9 p.m., and Thursday and Friday afternoons from 1 to 6 p.m. The Glen Park Reading Center, located just two blocks from the Glen Park BART Station at 653 Chenery Street, is open Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 1 to 6 p.m. and Wednesdays from 3 to 8 p.m. Located along the L. Terravel Muni Metro Line at 1200 Terravel Street, the Parkside Branch Library is open on Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 2 to 6 p.m. Tuesdays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Wednesday afternoons and evenings from 1 to 9 p.m. On Wednesday, March 16th at 6.30 p.m., the Noe Valley Sally Brun Memorial Branch Library continues its monthly classic film series with a screening of Tom Jones. Sophie, I'll get it back for you. Be careful, Tom. I am sorry to cause you this distress, Miss Weston. I did not think the bird would fly away. But still, I cannot help observing that the idea of caged birds is against the laws of nature. Don't you agree, Mr. Square? It's got him! Starring Albert Finney and Susanna York, Tom Jones is a high-spirited adaptation of the 18th century English novel by Henry Fielding about a foundling from the country seeking his destiny in rural England and London. Winner of the Academy Award for Best Picture of 1963, the film contains great period detail and also garnered an Oscar for director Tony Richardson. This 16 millimeter film screening of Tom Jones at the Noe Valley Branch Library on Wednesday evening, March 16th, begins at 6.30 p.m. The Noe Valley Sally Brun Memorial Branch Library, located at 451 Jersey Street, is open on Tuesdays from 10 a.m. to 12 noon, and again from 1 to 6 p.m. With evening hours on Wednesdays from 1 to 9 p.m. and Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays from 1 to 6 p.m. Want to learn how to read? Want to help someone else learn to read? Contact Project Read of the San Francisco Public Library at 557-4388. Project Read is an adult literacy program that provides volunteer one-to-one -one tutoring for adult learners. Project Read's support of tutors and students includes tutor orientation and training, continuing education workshops for tutors and students, reading diagnostics for students, family programs, and referrals to classroom instruction at community college centers and to other agencies in the community. There are many ways you can help adults achieve their personal reading goals. Call Project Read to find out how. Learn to read or be a reading tutor. Phone 557-4388. Hi, 
I'm Susan Harlow, middle school liaison librarian at San Francisco Public Library. Today I'm up on the roof of the main library at the Civic Center, overlooking the construction site for the new main library. When the new main is completed in 1996, it will include a teen center, a place where teens can come and do their homework, browse a special interest reading area, check out cassettes and CDs, or just enjoy a magazine. There will be a librarian there as well to help with any kind of reference questions that teens might have. Now you don't have to wait until 1996 for a special place for teens to go. There are now teen corners set up at the Bayview Wadden Branch located at 5075 3rd Street, the Portola Reading Center at 2434 San Bruno Avenue, and the Visitation Valley Reading Center at 45 Leland Avenue. And there are programs for teens this month at the San Francisco Public Library. On the first two Mondays in March, March 7th and March 14th, the Bayview Library will host an informal teen rap session on sex. You can come in with any question and get an answer. Or you can try your hand at poetry. Poets in the Schools at Balboa High School will host a nine-week poetry writing workshop at the Excelsior Branch beginning on Tuesday, March 8th. The workshops will continue through May 3rd when the Excelsior Branch will host a reception for a public reading of the poetry. Call the Excelsior Branch 337-4735 for further information. So come to the library, check it out, and see what things we have to offer teens at San Francisco Public Library. Where do you go when you want to know more about a social disease, G? My father. Nancy Rubin's class down in the B building. Probably talk to my parents. When you go to the doctor, they always have those pamphlets sitting around. In the P-L-A-C-E to B, the public library. Where do you go to get the 411, the additional info, yo? Well, I think I go to my grandmother. She's pretty cool. She knows about all that stuff. The library. Knowledge, power, use it. You take it back, I take it back, he takes it back. Take it back. Cowboys take it back. When you don't recycle, the earth will be trashed and um, the garbage cans will be filled and stuff. Let's all take it back. Yeah, take it back. Take it back! There's a point to all this. Take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back. Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. Serving the city since 1917, the main library located at Civic Center is open on Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. On Tuesdays from 12 noon to 9 p.m. and Fridays from 12 to 6 p.m. The San Francisco History Room and Special Collections are open Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 1 to 6 p.m. Thursdays and Saturdays from 10 a.m. to noon closed from noon to 1 and open again from 1 to 6 p.m. On display at the main library now through the end of March are two fascinating and lively exhibitions that focus on two different aspects of San Francisco's colorful history. On the third floor of the main library you'll find the exhibit Gifts to the City, a selection of the accolades and artifacts which have been presented to San Francisco's mayors by donors from around the world. The items on display are from the collection of the library's San Francisco History Room. The History Room staff assembled the exhibit which contains a variety of unique items such as this copper replica of an Armenian cathedral door panel presented to Mayor Agnos by the Soviet Armenian Earthquake Relief Committee and this lovely blue Delft plate which was created for the 50th anniversary of the Golden Gate Bridge and was presented by the Netherlands community to Mayor Feinstein. On display with the gifts are portraits of all of San Francisco's mayors starting with John White Geary, the city's first mayor in 1850 and leading up to San Francisco's 39th mayor, Frank Jordan. The Gifts to the City exhibit on the third floor of the main library runs through the end of March. Don't miss this opportunity to enjoy these seldom exhibited treasures.
On display in the main library's second floor rotunda is an exhibition celebrating the centennial of the California Midwinter International Exposition. The exhibit features programs, photographs, prints, souvenirs, and other rarely seen memorabilia from the Forgotten World's Fair held in Golden Gate Park in 1894. The exhibit was organized by the San Francisco History Association and sponsored by the library's San Francisco History Room. A centennial journey, the California Midwinter Fair exhibit runs through the end of March. And to find out more about all aspects of San Francisco history, come to the Main Library's San Francisco History Room. Located on the third floor of the Main Library, the San Francisco History Room contains a vast collection of books, maps, articles, and documents pertaining to San Francisco history. The History Room hours of operation are Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 1 to 6 p.m. Thursdays and Saturdays, 10 a.m. to noon, closed for the lunch hour, and reopen again from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. The History Room is closed on Sundays and Mondays. The San Francisco Public Library's Services for the Deaf and Hearing Impaired are located on the second floor of the main library in the Civic Center. Staffed with personnel fluent in American Sign Language, the Services for the Deaf and Hearing Impaired contain numerous resources for and about the deaf and hearing impaired. Deaf services may be reached via TTD at phone number 557-4433 or voice phone at 557-4434. Hours of operation are Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 12 noon to 6 p.m. and Tuesdays from noon to 9 p.m. Come to the main library's Lurie Room for a free large screen video program every Thursday at noon. This month's program features outdoor adventures, individual and team sports, starting on March 3rd with California White Water. This video explores the wild rivers of California from the upper reaches of the Kings River to a remote gorge of the Stanislaus Middle Fork. On Thursday, March 10th, it's Defeat into Victory, which highlights the Stars and Stripes victory over Kookaburra III in the 1987 America's Cup yachting race. On March 17th, experience the beauty of one of America's last true wilderness areas, the Olympic Peninsula. The video, Hiking the Olympics, takes the viewer on a wonderful journey through this spectacular wilderness area. The March 24th program features two baseball documentaries, A League of Their Own, The Documentary, profiles the real women who inspired the major league comedy, A League of Their Own, and Great Moments in Baseball, featuring footage of many great plays and players, including Babe Ruth, Ted Williams, and Willie Mays. And two films wrap up the Outdoor Adventures program for March, Snow Motion, a breathtaking look at downhill skiing and daredevil stunts on skis. And Running Gay, a look at British athletic groups which provide a place for gays interested in sports. Each program lasts approximately one hour. That's the large screen video program every Thursday at noon in the Lurie Room of the Main Library. In January, the Main Library celebrated the opening of a new International Languages collection with a kickoff program that included international dance and musical performances. The new International Languages collection at the Maine will include materials for adults and children in Chinese, Spanish, and Vietnamese, as well as a small collection of other Southeast Asian languages, 
Japanese, Korean, and Tagalog. The International Languages Collection was funded by an $85,000 grant from the United States Department of Education, Library Services, and Construction Grant. Additional sources of funding include the San Francisco Foundation and a generous donation of Chinese language books from Taiwan and from gifts through the San Francisco Shanghai Sister City Committee. The celebration also featured remarks from community leaders and was hosted by Sydney Kohara of KGO TV Channel 7. But it was that bookmobile that gave me an avenue away from the baseball games and the football games that all the other neighborhood kids played. And it gave me a chance to learn more about the world than just what was in Alexandria, Louisiana. I learned about places like Europe and Asia and San Francisco. And I find that I make an effort to come to talk to you today about the library because it meant so much to me to have that chance to be able to, to have the library come to me a long time ago when I was a little girl. And I, I see that the chance to keep this library in downtown San Francisco and to now open up a whole new section with these, with these new books, the International Languages Collection. And I want you to know that it's, it's wonderful to see you all here, to know that you're going to support it, just like I want to try to support the library as much as I can. Arena de Rio delighted the celebrants on the second floor rotunda with their performance of songs from Mexico and other Latin American countries. Muy conocido es de lo más tradicional de tu folklore cubano, Welcome to City Watch, San Francisco's new government access television channel. Hi, I'm Supervisor Sue Bierman. City Watch was created to give you greater access to the services of city departments, agencies, boards, commissions, and the like. With this channel, the city can use television to encourage participation in government services and decision making. In the coming months, look for gavel to gavel coverage of public meetings and other programming of interest to all San Franciscans. Thank you for watching. 
looking for a great deal on books, then drop by the Book Bay Bookstore in Fort Mason. Operated by the Friends of the San Francisco Public Library, the Book Bay Bookstore offers great prices on used books, records, and tapes. There's something for everybody at the Book Bay, and all proceeds of the Book Bay benefit the Friends of the San Francisco Public Library. The Book Bay Bookstore is located in the Fort Mason Complex, Building C, on the first floor. The store is open Wednesdays and Fridays from 11 to 5, Thursdays 11 to 8, and Saturdays and Sundays again from 11 to 5. The Book Bay also welcomes donations of books. If you have books you'd like to donate, call the Friends of the San Francisco Public Library at 557-4257 for more information. So, now you know, that's Bargain Books at the Book Bay Bookstore, Fort Mason, Building C. The beautiful Richmond Branch Library, located at 351 9th Avenue, is open Tuesdays and Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Wednesday with evening hours from 1 to 9 p.m., and Thursdays and Fridays from 1 to 6 p.m. The Richmond Branch Children's Room is open Thursdays and Fridays from 2 to 6 p.m., and Tuesdays and Saturdays, 10 to 6 p.m., with Wednesday evening hours, 2 to 8 p.m. Located atop Potrero Hill at 1616 20th Street, the Potrero Branch Library is open Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays from 1 to 6 p.m. and Wednesdays from 1 to 8 p.m. Located across the street from Stonestown, the Merced Branch Library at 155 Winston Drive is open Mondays and Tuesdays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Wednesdays with evening hours from 1 to 9 p.m., and Thursdays and Fridays from 1 to 6 p.m. Please take notice, the San Francisco Public Library does not carry California or federal tax forms. State tax forms are available from the Franchise Tax Board Office at 345 Larkin Street, room 1241. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call 1-800-852-5711 or 1-800-338-0505 for more information. Federal tax forms are available from the IRS Tax Assistance Office at 450 Golden Gate Avenue, room 1002. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Phone 1-800-TAX-FORM for more information. Check out the library's programs for infants and toddlers. In the children's room of the main library, come for a lap sit at 10.30 a.m. on Saturdays. The Anza Branch, Wednesdays at 7.15 p.m. Chinatown Branch, call for dates, Saturdays at 10 a.m. Merced Branch, Tuesdays at 10 a.m. In the Mission, Saturdays at 11 a.m. Noe Valley, Sally Brun Branch, Wednesday evenings at 7. In North Beach, Tuesdays at 10.15 a.m., except for the third Tuesday of the month. In the Parkside, Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Potrero Branch, Thursdays at 1.30 p.m. Richmond Branch, Saturdays at 10.30 a.m., call for dates. The Sunset Branch asks for you to call for the schedule for Lapsit. West Portal, 10.30 a.m. on Saturdays. And Western Edition, 10.30 a.m. on Saturdays. That's the Lapsit program, stories, songs, and rhymes for infants and toddlers. Every Friday from 3 to 6 p.m., the Main Library Children's Department hosts the Chess Club for children of all ages. International, Chinese, Vietnamese, Japanese, and Korean chess are offered, as well as Go and Scrabble. That's the Chess Club in the Main Children's Department at the Main Library every Friday at 3 p.m. Dial-A-Story is a telephone service offering poems, rhymes, riddles, songs, and stories for children. Presented by the Office of Children's Services of the San Francisco Public Library, Dial-A-Story is offered in three languages, English, Spanish, and Cantonese. For English stories, dial 626-6516. For Spanish stories, dial 
And for Cantonese stories, dial 552-0534. Now here's a sampling of some Dial-A-Story fun. Hello. Thank you for calling Dial-A-Story, presented by Golden Services, San Francisco Public Library. Our story today is The Chinese Mirror, a Korean folktale adapted by Mira Ginsberg. There was a time, long, long ago, when no one in our village had ever seen a mirror. One day a villager went on a distant journey all the way to China. There he went into a store and saw a strange, round, shiny thing. He looked at it and a man's face looked back at him. He smiled and the man smiled back at him. He stuck out his tongue and the man stuck out his tongue. Sell it to me, he said to the storekeeper, and he brought the mirror home with him. At home, he hid the mirror in a trunk, afraid that its magic might be lost if everybody saw it. Once in a while, he'd take it out secretly, laugh with pleasure, and then hide it again. Why is he laughing when there's nothing to laugh at, his wife wondered, and she began to watch him. One morning, she saw him take a small, round, shiny thing out of the trunk, look into it, and smile. When he went out, she took the mirror and glanced into it. Oh, oh, she cried, the cruel, faithless man! And she ran to her mother-in-law, wailing, My faithless husband, your son, brought home a pretty young wife from China and keeps her hidden in the trunk. Look at her. There she is. Stop wailing, said her mother-in-law, and let me see the young beauty. She glanced into the mirror and burst out laughing. My son may not be very clever, she said, but why would he bring home a wrinkled old lady? No, there must be something else to it. He'd never get himself such a wife. It's just your foolish jealousy. At that moment, the man's father walked in and wondered why his daughter-in-law was crying. <laughs> and his wife was laughing. <laughs> Let me see for myself, he said. He looked and shrugged his shoulders and said, You sillies, this is not a woman, either young or old. It is our neighbor's grandpa with his bald head and gray beard. They kept looking and looking, but the young wife kept seeing a pretty young woman, the old woman kept seeing a wrinkled old lady, the old man kept seeing his neighbor's grandpa, and none of them could convince the others that they were wrong. They put the mirror back in the trunk, still arguing. Now the man and his wife had a little son. What are they arguing about, he asked himself. Let me see. When they were all gone, he took the mirror and looked in and saw a boy with a nice round shiny pebble in his hand. Oh, oh, he yelled, the nasty brat stole my pebble. A neighbor happened to be passing by. Why are you crying, he asked. Who stole your pebble? The boy held out the mirror and the man looked into it. Oh, you big fat bully, he shouted. How dare you hurt little children? He banged his fist into the bully's face. Out flew the mirror, crashed against the wall, and scattered into a hundred shiny splinters. And that was the end of the stranger who looked at the traveler, the young beauty from China, the wrinkled old lady, the neighbor's grandpa, the nasty brat who stole pebbles, and the big fat bully who hurt little boys. And that was the story of The Chinese Mira, a Korean folktale adapted by Mira Ginsberg. That's all there is. There isn't any more. Goodbye. Located in the heart of the Mission at 3359 24th Street, the Mission Branch Library is open on Tuesdays and Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Wednesday afternoons and evenings from 1 to 9 p.m., and Thursdays and Fridays from 1 to 6 p.m. The Children's Room at the Mission Branch Library is open on Monday, Thursday, and Friday afternoons from 2 to 6 p.m. Tuesdays and Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Wednesday afternoons and evenings from 2 to 8 p.m. Located in the Outer Mission, the Excelsior Branch Library at 4400 Mission Street is open Tuesdays and Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Wednesdays with evening hours from 1 to 9 p.m., and Thursdays and Fridays from 1 to 6 p.m. An example of one of San Francisco's many beautiful Carnegie-era branch libraries, the Bernal Branch is located on 500 Cortland Avenue. It is open on Tuesdays from 10 to 12 noon, closed for lunch, and then open again from 1 to 6. On Wednesdays from 1 till 9 in the evening, and Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays from 1 to 6 p.m. The Friends of the Public Library conduct a great tour of the main library on the third Wednesday of each month. Meet us in the morning at 10.30 at the welcome desk in the lobby for a delightful free tour. No reservations necessary. 
you too can be a friend, a friend of the San Francisco Public Library. Join us. For more information, phone the Friends of the San Francisco Public Library at 557-4257. You've been watching At the Public Library here on cable channel 54, City Watch. At the Public Library features news and information about the San Francisco Public Library system. And for a printed copy of some of the information in this program, pick up a copy of At the Public Library at your branch or at the main library. Tune in next time for more at the Public Library. And thanks for watching.